What's going on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the Apple Studio Display with Nano Texture Glass. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys all around this beautiful 27 inch monitor, so let's get it. The Apple Studio features a 5K Retina display, a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, and a high fidelity 6 speaker system. You get to choose between two anti-reflective glass options, standard glass or this nano texture glass which adds a special coating that minimizes glare even in a very bright workspace. Unfortunately, after making the decision between the two glass options, you also have to decide what stand you want, a basic tilt stand, a tilt and height adjustable stand which is the one that I have, or a visa mount adapter with no stand. So let's dive right into the unboxing of this Apple Studio display. The actual box was very large and heavy for a 27 inch monitor which felt like I was carrying a 40 inch TV. The way this studio display was packaged was very unique and I do appreciate how simple and easy it was to take out. The actual studio display with the stand only weighs about 16.9 pounds so it wasn't too heavy at all. And inside the box we're going to have a nice braided Thunderbolt 3 cable which is going to be coated in a nice black color. We're going to have some nice Apple stickers, a couple of booklets and quick start guide. And then we're going to have a special cloth that's going to be meant specifically to clean the nano textured glass. We went for the standard glass option, there are no cloths at all, so this is specifically for the nano textured glass. Alright, going back to the display, Apple really makes unboxing and revealing this display very different and unique. So let's go ahead and first take out this tab here, which is going to remove these two cardboard pieces. This is probably to prevent the Apple display from moving during transportation. And then we have the actual power adapter attached to the stand itself. And it's going to be a nice braided black color. And then let's go ahead and take off this cover sleeve. And honestly, I thought the display was going to be revealed, but we have another piece of paper here. Now taking a look at the back here, I think it looks absolutely beautiful. The silver color, it looks very nice and premium. What do you guys think of this? I think the design language on the back of this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and reveal the display here. And once again, guys, this is the nano textured glass option here. So this is the most expensive option here with the height and tilt adjustable stand that I have here. I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I'm not very content with this stand, to be very honest. The height adjustable is not that much. I would have loved for it to go more down. The tilt angles are pretty decent, but I just wish that the height adjustability was better. Now as for inputs, we have one Thunderbolt 3 connector with that little lightning bolt and three additional USB-Cs. Alright, to show the Apple Studio display, I'm going to use my M2 Max MacBook Pro 16 inch and using the included Thunderbolt 3 cable, I'm going to connect it with any of the Type-C ports on my MacBook. And once I connect it, it will automatically power on the Apple Studio display. And what I love about this is that it also supplies up to 96 watts of power delivery, which is great and enough to charge my MacBook Pro, and that's a great feature to have. Now, you can also adjust the brightness within the settings, and it does get really, really bright. Now, to demonstrate the nano texture glass, I'm gonna use my flashlight here, and you can kinda of see the differences between the MacBook Pro and the Apple Studio display. Now, I don't really have the standard glass to kind of really show the differences, but you can kind of see on the MacBook, since it has like that more glossier display, you can see it's a lot more reflective while the Apple Studio display is less reflective. So this is great for very bright workspaces. Now you can see here that the MacBook is charging and once we close it down, we can see that it automatically switches to the main display. And this Apple Studio has an amazing screen resolution at 5120 by 2880, which puts the pixel per inch density at 218 pixels per inch. This makes looking at small text and details super sharp, which puts it close to the 254 PPI density of my MacBook Pro 16 inch. This studio display has 600 nits of brightness, support for 1 billion colors, and true tone technology. I can see why the display is highly rated among Apple users who need an external display for their MacBook, Mac Mini, or Studio. Hold on guys, Firewolf Tech here, showing you guys the new 15 inch Apple MacBook Air. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all around this beautiful midnight MacBook, so let's get it. The six speaker sound system on this Apple Studio is impressive, which means you won't really need external speakers in your desk setup. Since the studio display only has one Thunderbolt input, it makes connecting to a PC with a graphics card basically useless and not worth it. You could connect your PC laptop, but won't be able to take advantage of spatial audio, Siri, or center stage. To take full advantage, you need Mac OS. 
And one of the best features of this Apple Studio display are the additional three USB-C ports in the back, which has transfer speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. So I have my Asus Rostrix NVMe SSD connected and I'm getting read write speeds of about 900 megabits per second. So this is great, meaning that you don't really have to use your existing ports on your MacBook. You can just use those three additional on the back. Comparing the two displays side by side here, I have my MacBook Pro 16 inch and the Apple Studio display. You can see that the Studio display gets a lot more bright, but when it comes to color, I don't know if it's because of the nano texture glass. I mean, I think that the nano texture does add a little bit of haze in it. So I would prefer the actual standard glass. One of the most important things for me for a monitor is how well it boosts my productivity and workflow. The 27 inch Apple Studio display works very well for my content creation workflow. And that's thanks to its 5K retina resolution, which is one of the best you can find. I think the nano texture glass is a nice feature to have, but only if your environment suffers from immense lighting. If you don't have much issues with sunlight and can control the lighting, I would probably go for the standard glass as it would look better. What I don't like about the studio display are the stand options. You are basically stuck with whichever stand you choose, which in my opinion is the worst thing about this monitor. If I wanted to later on use a Visa mount, I can't. If I bought the Visa mount version instead, I can't have a stand since Apple doesn't sell it and there's no way you can do it on your own. This height and tilt stand is okay, but I wish it went lower. But stands aside, the 5K retina resolution is absolutely fire and I would only recommend the Apple Studio display if you're looking for a beautiful 5K monitor for your MacBook, Mac Mini, or Mac Studio. I would opt for the standard glass and would probably go for the Visa mount option for extra flexibility and desk space. If you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as always guys, thanks so much for watching guys.